Hey everybody, welcome into our NBA TV studios. It's game time. I'm Kristen Ludlow alongside our Greg Anthony and the NBA's preseason continues with 12 games Woo. on a Friday. Getting close to the start of the real season. That's a lot. Yes. I'm just going to cut you off right there because we've got to get right to highlights. <laughs> all right. So back in 2007, Kevin Durant was drafted second overall out of the University of Texas to the Supersonics. He was the rookie of the year in his one season in Seattle before the franchise moved to Oklahoma City. He started 80 games, set a franchise rookie record with more than 1,600 points. And Katie is back. This time as a warrior taking on the Kings at Key Arena, Bill Russell, Russell Wilson. Then we've got Lenny Wilkins in the 1979 Larry O'Brien Trophy. Fred GP, Brown. Are you with me? Gary Payton in attendance and Kevin Durant wearing a Sean Kemp jersey playing in Seattle where it all started. We'd like to thank you guys for coming out, supporting us. I know it's been a rough 10 years. NBA is back in Seattle for tonight, but hopefully it's back forever soon. Sue Bird liking what she sees as Ooh. well. KD driving baseline, throws it down, putting the Warriors up early 12 to 3. But it was Clay Thompson, GA, 19 points and five oh. three point field goals in the first quarter. He just his ability to get open and then his teammates' ability to find him in rhythm. One of the reasons why the Warriors are just an incredible dynasty. He finished with 30, by the way. So that was it is quite the quarter. He still got 30. <laughs> and still has the beard. KD with three more. He can't give him Not that much space. This time defensively, the steal. The clay for the layup plus the foul. He would oddly miss that free throw. That is odd. Not something you see often. Again, though, like I said, did finish with 30. Oh, Warriors inbound. Oh. Dunking over Willie Colley Stein, who was no slight man, by the way. KD finished with 26 points and seven assists in this one as the Warriors go on to win at 122 to 94. So KD soaked up this return to Seattle. What though GA can be said about his performance, both prior to the game with the microphone and then yeah. once he stepped onto the court? I thought it was really classy of him to not only address those fans who are starved for NBA basketball, but also remember he did. He came into this league there and then he honored the great Sean Kemp by wearing his jersey out there. His teammates are supporting him because it did mean a lot to him. And it means a lot to the NBA. We miss Seattle. I hope and pray at some point we get a franchise back in that city, one of my five favorite cities in America. All right. And uh, had the opportunity to play there for a year. It, it's an incredible place. Tremendous fan support. Uh, nice for them to be able to see the world champs come in and put on a show. Gave a shout out to my favorite, Sue Bird and the Storm as well, but with a little more than a week to go until these guys get their rings yeah. yet again. They're used <laughs> to getting those. How are they going to approach this season, this attempt at a three-peat? I, I was just there a couple days ago and talked with, with Steve Kerr about this and, and Steph and, and Clay, and they actually feel better going into this season than they did a year ago. Mm. Uh, they're healthy mentally. Remember, they had to go over to China, uh, dealt with a lot of injuries. They got a little more youth and athleticism on this team. They're still going to have some transition as they wait for, for Boogie Cousins to get back, but they're still a juggernaut. I mean, they are the most unselfish, best shooting, best passing team in our league. Uh, they still get after defensively. They are the team to beat. They're in a good place mentally, uh, which I think speaks volumes for the rest of the league because that is the gold standard that everybody is trying to catch up to. You mentioned Boogie getting healthy again. We know what he's capable of statistically. How, though, do you think he fits with this roster? Uh, Steve Kerr loves the way he plays because, one, he's a big that can play out in space. He's a terrific passer, and they don't feel like there has to be a whole lot of adjustments made because it's about the ball finding the open man. Uh, and I think, like we saw with Durant, great players, when they get the opportunity to play with other great players who are unselfish, tend to play well. Uh, I think we're going to see a very motivated DeMarcus Cousins that fits in well there, which creates even more problems for the rest of the league. Well, you're going to hear me say often that the highlights will continue because, again, <laughs> a 12-game Friday.
And the last time the Suns were in Portland, Devin Booker dropped 30, but they lost in the final second. 106 to 104. It was Damian Lillard who finished it. He finished with 40. It may be the preseason, but the Suns are back, and this time with the top overall pick, DeAndre Ayton, on the floor as well. And I got a sneaky suspicion that DeAndre Ayton is going to be the rookie of the year. I Look mean, at he this. has gotten off to an incredible start here. Uh, I know it's preseason, and I know it doesn't count, but he can still really get it done. And to be as physically dominant as he is already, but yet to still have such a polished skill set is impressive to be so young. It's, you just hit it right on the head. I mean, to be that young, only one year of college, but he's already got the ability to play low post, high post, can pass it, rebounds, block shots. He is as complete a big as we've seen come in this league in a, in a couple years. Aiton finished with 19 points and 14 rebounds. That was Damian Lillard with a couple of buckets back to back. The Utah Jazz, though, looking to stay perfect in the preseason, taking on the Adelaide 36ers in their only game of the NBL's tour of the USA. That was Donovan Mitchell tying things up at 13 apiece. Ooh. How about Grayson Allen? I tell you what, Grayson Throwing Allen, down. he's going to be in that rotation. Uh, I mean, a really good basketball player, fits what Quinn Snyder and the Jazz like to do. And this, I never thought I'd say this, but the Jazz are the sexy pick to be a team that could get to the Western Conference Finals. They've got a lot of depth. They're playing with great confidence. Right. They got Spider. Yeah, he had 18 points in the first half. Didn't play in the second half. Didn't have to. I mean, why, right? Grayson Allen for three more. He had 16 points on this one. And the Jazz would go on to win it. Now, after the break, again, the highlights will continue on a 12-game night in the NBA's preseason. We'll be right back. Play the new game, NBA Pick'em Team Win Totals. Predict how many wins each NBA team will have for this season, and you've got a chance to win a million dollars. Head to NBA.com slash Pick'em today to make your picks and for all the rules. The Dallas Morning News reports more accusations of sexual misconduct in the Dallas Mavericks organization. In a story released Friday, former Mavs employees accused a longtime team photographer of propositioning female co-workers and making lewd comments. In the past year, the Mavs have been the subject of a seven-month independent investigation into workplace misconduct, which resulted in Mark Cuban donating $10 million in support of women's advocacy groups. Commissioner Adam Silver said Friday that the league office is monitoring the Mavs' response to these allegations. The team in action Friday morning, though, taking on the Sixers in the first of two NBA China games. That's Dennis Smith Jr. for three. He had 20 points in this one, GA. Yeah, and also improved that perimeter game, knocking down half of his six three pointers. Whoo, Joel Embiid, the dunk plus the foul. He'd make that free throw, but look at Luka Doncic with the nice teardrop. Nice little floater there, gets that one to fall. And how about JJ Redick? Perfect from the <laughs> field in this game, knocked down all 10 of his field goals and seven of his free throws. The three-pointer plus the foul. But look at this. The former Dallas Mav and retired Chinese basketball player Wong Juju gives Dirk Nowitzki a guitar and... Dirk we, gave us a concert. Yeah, well, we can't unfortunately that hear was muted. the audio. I think <laughs> for good this? reason. Joel Embiid apologizing with a kiss to a fan that he hit with a ball, and we've chosen not to show you guys that either. <laughs> <laughs> ben Simmons driving the lane, getting the layup to go, plus the foul. He'd make that free throw. Dallas would lead the way at the time, but the Sixers would pull away 120 to 114. Now you mentioned J.J. Reddick's 28 points on a perfect 10 of 10 from the field, but Joel Embiid added 22 and 10 rebounds as well. Assuming he's healthy, assuming this roster is healthy, how good can this team be? Well, I think the goal has got to be to try to get a step further, right? They, they did get to it in the second round last year. Uh, Embiid was terrific, but he and Simmons both had their struggles at times against the Celtics, and they've made Made some uh, key moves in terms of their roster, but more importantly, how much better are their young core going to be? Fultz is going to be playing this season. Obviously, Simmons and Embiid have to continue to improve, and ultimately, I think that trio is going to determine how far the Sixers go this season. Well, speaking of learning to create offensively, uh, that's the perfect transition to Luka Doncic. Is he perhaps your rookie of the year? I'm not going to say rookie of the year, but I'm excited to watch him. He's a guy that I think just has an incredible feel 
for playing the game of basketball. Very mature, uh, complete player, can find people, can shoot it, rebounds it well. Does all? He's a basketball player, and I think he's going to fit in nicely alongside Dennis Smith Jr. And already has professional experience as well. As the highlights continue in their third matchup of the preseason, the Toronto Raptors playing host to Melbourne United, the reigning National Basketball League champions. This one, though, with no Kawhi Leonard, no Kyle Lowry, right behind the back and for three, Toronto up 12 to seven. Then Green driving in for the easy layup here. Toronto taking it. An early and large lead, 21 yeah, you, to 7. You don't normally see Danny Green shooting shots in the paint, but able to knock that one down. Norman Powell. Oh, we do see that. All right. How about another one? And there Powell. it is with the yeah. fake and throws it down yet again. Toronto leads the way 57 to 39 at the half. It's Powell yet again in the third, this time dishing to Delon Wright for three more. Not a lot of people talking about the Raptors, but yeah. with Kawhi, I think this team is going to be heard from in the East. The Washington Wizards, once again without Dwight Howard, as they take on the Miami Heat in D.C. Hassan Whiteside Ooh. on the oop from Goran Dragic. He had 10 points in this one. And Dwayne Wade, give me up and under to go. He's back with 10 points. Are we going to see two of the all-time greats? Hang it up this season. Dwayne's already announced this is his yeah. final. Dirk, I think, will also probably announce at some point. As well. We, well, we keep thinking that he will, but then he keeps saying, I'll do one more. He might play till <laughs> he's 50. Who knows? That was Jeff Green. Miami would lead the way at the half. Then Bradley Beal gets rolling on offense here. The deep three with the assist from John Wall. Then Wall, yet again, this time to Beal inside. He finished with 20 points in this one. Yeah, and you know, this is another team. I, I really like what they did this past offseason the Wizards and I also think they believe that they're going to be in the conference final so it's I think that East is going to be really interesting this year and the Spurs hosting the Pistons both teams undefeated this preseason no Reggie Jackson in this one due to a right ankle injury Marcus Aldridge going to work here early and often and they done inside a little bit of Fade away outside the paint as well. Yeah, knocking down that shot was DeMar DeRozan. And I do think, as you see, Andre Drummond, who had a monster game earlier, continues to play well and, and improving his offensive game. That's going to be a big question for this Pistons team as they want to try to bounce back after the disappointment of last year. Another big preseason performance from Andre Drummond as he tries to keep the Pistons in this. He led all scores with 18 points and 10 rebounds on the night. Jonte Murray gets the jumper to go. That's the key to the Spurs this season. Right. His development, if Dejounte Murray can take a step and become a consistent lead guard for them, the Spurs <laughs> could be right back in the conversation. There's the step you were looking for. Right? Oh, yeah. No <laughs> doubt about the athleticism. Well, after the break, the preseason highlights continue as the Timberwolves try to rebound from a loss against the Clippers Wednesday, taking on the Thunder. And while the Knicks are 2-0 on the preseason, the Pelicans are 0-2. They're going to 